Hello everyone, my name is Soji Enigbekon. I would like to welcome you to our video tutorial on how to browse the internet using the terminal or the Linux command line. How you can surf the internet, how you can view web pages using the terminal, read news and blogs using the command line utility. To do this, we're going to be exploring three web browsers for the Linux command line. Three web browsers that can be installed and managed using the terminal. The first one we're going to look at is the Lynx 2. Lynx version 2. Lynx version 2 is a derivative of Lynx's. It operates in both texture and graphical mode. It relies on JavaScript and so it little wonder it enhanced graphics and text. It has beautiful colors. The second and the next one which I find very interesting especially if you work if you are a, a terminal junkie it's a text only terminal web browser called the W3M. It does not rely on JavaScript and hence it's purely graphic and textual. Its output is text only. So if you're familiar with all the navigational options with a command prompt, you would want to rely on W3M. If you think more of graphics and you want to enhance output, you use the links too. In this tutorial, we're going to be installing them and running this utility to view certain web pages. Once again, I'd like to remind us to click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel should you find this interesting. And let's not forget, your comments are very important to all of us. So we would like you to drop a comment if you have options or other web browsers that you think we can use in our subsequent videos and tutorials. Please leave us a comment and we're sure to get back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Without much talking, let us quickly go into the terminal where all of this is going to happen. You simply click the terminal. Once it comes up, we want to be sure you have installed this app. The first thing you want to do is sudo apt install links to because of time and because of the length of this video I've already installed it says links 2 is already the newest version as you can see and so I've done the same for the W3M you may also want to list it and say apt list links 2 it says links 2 is already installed on the computer. So we are get, getting ready to what? Rock and roll. So how do we use this to browse and why do we need to use this when I have the luxury of beautiful graphics by using any GUI web browsers like your Safari, Mozilla, Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge. Now the truth is a lot of us are solely reliant on the Terminal like this, we can do anything on the terminal and such. One of the most important reasons to do this is that our love for the command line, especially for those of us who run slow internet and slow pieces, when you run the web browsers on the textual based utility, lesser resources are consumed. We also can use this, number two, to test the availability of a website or a domain by simply just typing this. Now, because it does not rely on so many scripts, you cannot be tracked. Tracking and all kinds of distractive adverts and pop-ups are reduced when you use the terminal. So let's delve quickly into links to. The command is links to space the website. For example, if I'm going to google.co.za or .com, I simply just type google.com. Links to, it says, to display menu, press escape. This is one beautiful feature of running 
the links to. Because it relies on JavaScript, you are allowed to have tabs, tables, menus. To do that, you simply just click the escape button on your keyboard. You see things like file. You can go back, you can click the history. What you can normally do with a GUI browser, you can do. You can download, you can go to setup, set up how you want this to connect, maybe via proxy and all of that. To get that out of the way, you simply press escape again. And now, to browse, it allows you to use your mouse as well. Click the search bar and type in how to make a robot. On Google search, come down and click search. What you're viewing is the textual mode of links to. As you can see, there are options. If you want to click a particular um, search, for example, like this, you just click, click that. It takes you, it says, request sent to the website, and you will get it on what? Still the terminal. It differs from this beautiful page. So the advantage of this, it consumes lesser system resources. Let us jump into, I can just do this. To get out of here, you click Q. And it says, do you really want to exit links? You said yes. And that's that. Another good thing is call up what we typed before. Should I want to use the graphical mode? I need to type in the parameter type G. And it comes up like this. This feels different and more beautiful. Some of us are used to graphics already. You can begin to see how you want to cook and how to type whatever it is you want to search for. You can search. You can actually right-click images and download if you want to do all of that. For example, how to cook. I will search. It's sending that image right now and it retrieves them. Now it comes with graphics option. Can you see now? You see pictures. If you want to download picture, right click and say download link or copy link. You can view the image as well by just selecting the alphabet I on your keyboard. You can close that window. Let's go back to our terminal again. Let's not forget our aim is to do what? Use links to and W3M. Now we have seen links to. Let's look at the other one. I can split this. We don't have to split. I can just clear the screen and go W3M. Enter. It says this is how you use this for those of us who are new to Linux. You can seek help by just typing man W3M and a manual page comes up. It says W3M is a text-based browser and it can display local and remote web pages as other documents. Let's get this out of the way and let's see how we can use this. Now I'm going to go to bbc.com and say W3M space Google for example dot com the web search options returns a text based output. So what do you do? This is purely command line. You cannot use the mouse but you can use all the navigational tools on the keyboard like your forward back arrows. Right? I can now to, to type a search option. I press enter. It says text. Look at this here. It says type in a text and type in a text Type in a text and you just go type in a text, say for example, how to swim, how to swim. Then you go back upstairs and click the search. You see you navigate using the keyboard and it brings out the options for you and you can select as desired. So to leave this page, you simply click Q and you said, do you want to exit? You said yes. Why? Enter. Now, guys, let's go back to why we have um, put up this video. Number one, we have seen the links to and the W3M, 3M browsers. They are purely textual-based browsers. So let's split up the screen to see both of them. Now I can clear up this and say links to... bbc.com. Let's look at the same website. And I go on to this and I type 
w3m bbc.com same website same domain you see their output ladies and gentlemen everyone i would like to thank you for viewing please leave a comment and do click the like button and the subscription button should you find this interesting and useful thank you for viewing